welcome to GeoHug. I'm here in beautiful Brisbane for the World Mining Congress and to celebrate the finish of the BHP Explore cohort for 2023. I've got the beautiful Sonia Sarcelli with me today. So thank you so much for chatting to me. Thank you so much for having me today at GeoHug. It's a pleasure coming back and have a nice chat with you. Why is a program like BHP Explore so important? So BHP Explorer um, was uh, created uh, to um, occupy a very speci specific niche on the market. Uh, there was uh, the internal goal uh, of a growth, a new idea and concept, uh, but then there was uh, the external uh, realization uh, that uh, in the mining industry, the way we are uh, funding exploration, especially in the junior space, uh, is a broken system. Yeah. If you think about uh, the day-to-day -day activity of a junior company is uh, to have an idea, go to the market, raise a little bit of capital to take enough data so they can go to the market again and raise a little bit more capital. So they enter, I keep calling this the trade mill, yeah. but they keep entering this uh, cyclical uh, trade mill of uh, raising uh, incremental capital. Mm -hmm. And what they forget to think about uh, is uh, the initial exploration concept uh, that yeah. was uh, the idea to start with. Mm. So they are not working uh, to develop uh, that uh, with that intent in mind. They are mm. more working to get the money to do <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So by doing that, uh, we are not really focusing uh, on uh, new exploration and uh, new ideas and new discoveries. Uh, and so explore, uh, remove uh, that obstacle of the financing, yeah. uh, remove the obstacle uh, of having to go and ask money constantly and allows uh, the company in the program uh, to focus on their concept, to focus on their holistic exploration uh, idea and activity. So that's what they can do. So we basically we are telling them, do what you're best at, which is exploring yeah. and let us worry about the rest. So can you tell me a bit about, yeah, the program this year? We launched the program uh, last year in uh, September, mm -hmm. collected an amazing amount of application and selected the seven beautiful companies uh, to come and joining us. They joined us in January and mm -hmm. they've been working uh, together with us in the past six months uh, to accelerate their uh, exploration activities and campaigns. Mm -hmm. We're really excited on what we've been accomplishing with them. What were some of the big wins out of the program? So first of all, uh, we've been blessed and lucky to find uh, some of the best uh, explorers that are out there in the world. Uh, and they trust us with their ideas and their concept uh, and brought to, to our program and working with us for the six months. And what about the biggest learnings like for both yeah, BHP and, and for the cohort? So I, I would say that for me the biggest learning uh, has been uh, looking at how these uh, companies uh, think about uh, their opportunities, how they go about, about it, the passion that they have. On one of the, the um, field trips that we have uh, with one of our companies, with Tutuma Metals, uh, the, the way they were looking at, uh, at the African region and the way they were looking at the environment at the above ground and their uh, deep passion uh, on uh, trying to promote uh, the country and trying to do something good for the society there for me was a, was a massive learning and I, I would expect from other companies that but I wasn't expecting such a deep level of connection. Was it big challenges? I would say yes and no and they know because at the end of the day what the feeling has been in the room from day one is that we are on a partnership. Yeah. So we park on the side uh, whether we are BHP or any of the seven companies, but we are the Explore team and the Explore partnership. Our uh, intent, which was very genuine from, from day one, was uh, to really help them to thrive and accelerate, uh, while for us uh, getting exposed to their exploration concept uh, and looking for new growth opportunities, of course. Yeah. So that was uh, always uh, clear from both sides. And so from that point of view, it wasn't challenged. Uh, maybe what was uh, challenging is we, we come from different backgrounds, we come from different uh, uh, ways of working and thinking. So yeah. we needed to bring all of that on the table and create a baseline that was uh, similar for everyone. Is that it? So I guess the big question is, are you going to do it again? Oh yes. So we're going to call for application again at the end of August, starting at the end of August. That's and amazing. we run the application period um, throughout September and part of October. So we're really excited. Wow. And we will welcome uh, our cohort too for 2024. Wow, that's big news. So you don't have any sort of preference, I guess, in 
your ideal applicant? Still focusing on future uh, uh, commodities, uh, future facing commodities, uh, copper and nickel uh, are uh, our commodity of choice, uh, exploration. Uh, uh, we're looking uh, for companies that are pre-IPO or also um, public. Mm -hmm. We are still looking uh, for uh, any type of idea coming uh, can come from academia down to already existing in this, uh, companies. Uh, we want people that have a very clear uh, idea and concept uh, and uh, they have uh, enough, uh, um, they've done enough uh, in, uh, work, technical work that yeah. can uh, back up a little bit of that concept. Um, whether they come from academia, and we do have one of our company, Bronzite, uh, did not exist before uh, Explorer. Yeah. So it was literally one person that pitched the idea and is a professor at university. Oh, wow. And uh, the company was uh, created uh, once they were accepted uh, into the Explore program and it, as today is a two people company. So we definitely have a capacity for uh, those type of applications yep. uh, as well as uh, some of our companies are uh, public uh, trade, whether it's Nordic Nickel or uh, King Rose, uh, those are all public. So what would you um, say to anyone that's looking to maybe apply for the 2.0? Well, if you have a, a great idea, be, be brave, mm -hmm. uh, go and look to our portal. There are a lot of information about the Explore program. The application process uh, is going to be available uh, with the, the application. It's uh, very straightforward. So if you have a great idea, don't, don't feel that you don't have all the information. Yep. In fact, it doesn't matter uh, because mm -hmm. we will help you to find uh, all the, the pieces that are missing uh, to, to your exploration concept. Uh, we will work with you hand on hand to get you moving forward. Congratulations on running, yeah, the first BHP <laughs> Explore program. That's, yeah, really amazing what, you, what you've all done together. Um, but yeah, I guess moving away from that a little bit, I um, have been fangirling about meeting you today because, <laughs> yeah, I just have been really excited. You've, you know, made such big waves with running this program and I want to see more women in mining and, yeah, it's, Amazing to have, yeah, big executives like you sort of running around and working with all different parts in the industry and getting ads on Times Square has been really, <laughs> really cool. Um, but yeah, I guess I was A, curious about your journey to getting to where you are and then I guess any tips that you have for anyone in the industry or any females that are looking to join the mining industry. Yes, so first of all, I would like to say that uh, I've seen a, a transformation in uh, the past few years uh, on the resource industry in general uh, with the more and more uh, female leadership and, mo and more female that are out there and talking and taking a role and a position uh, um, to, to really bring the diversity into the industry. Yeah. I, uh, I, I go back to BHP on this because actually I'm very proud to work for a company as BHP where I made a very strong stand uh, about uh, um, supporting uh, women uh, across uh, the organization and in leadership. Uh, if you look at today, our ELT, which is our uh, executive leadership team, uh, is 50-50. Yeah. And, and that is uh, absolutely remarkable. Uh, so definitely great role models uh, in the company. If I think about uh, the females that are out there, uh, I, I like to tell people uh, to be brave, yeah. to take the risk uh, to put yourself out. The worst thing that can happen is my, you might get a no, but you're not going to get a no all the time. But if you don't try, then it's going to be a no to start with. Yeah. And, uh, and there are many women like myself and many others that we are there available. We want, we want to help, we want to support, we want to, we want to hear from, of challenges and we want, to, we want to talk to people and help them to thrive. But really, Take the risk, put yourself out. There are great companies there that will really help you to thrive. And yeah. I want to see more women. In fact, I'm going to make a call. If there are great females that are out there, <laughs> that have a great exploration idea, and they are a little bit on the fence whether to apply or not, please apply. Yeah. Do not make a mistake not applying. Apply. Do it. Get in there. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, I absolutely love talking to you today. So, yeah, thank you so, so much. And yeah, congratulations again, and I can't wait to hear more about yeah 2.0 and all the details on that. So thank you. Thank you so much for thank having you. me, Joag, and I'll talk to you soon. I'll yes. let you know everything as things are progressing. Definitely, please do.